Here we will continue our study of the gear cutting process, especially gear hobbing. And it has a very interesting connection to a famous quote of a great sculptor. He once said that when he saw the stone, he did not see only the stone like everybody else, but instead he saw the statue inside. And then he only started chiseling away the unwanted material so the statue could be liberated. The gear hobbing process is something quite similar. Let me show you how. For that we will start with a gear blank. A gear blank is merely a metal disc from which the gear is to be cut. I haven't shown the whole disc but I have shown only a sector of it. Moreover, I have marked this gear blank sector with two colors. The green part is the gear we want, the material we want to keep, while the red part is the material to be removed, the unwanted part. And for the removal of that unwanted part, we'll be using a, a rack cutter. Here it is. Then these two bodies, the gear blank and the rack cutter, will be given independent but related or proportionate motions. The blank will be given a rotational motion, while the rack will be given a translational motion and these two motions are proportionate as if this is a gear which is driving that rack. At the same time the rack will be moving up and down to the plane of this figure thereby knocking off anything that comes in its way. So let us see the action here. So the blank is rotating and uh, the gear uh, or the rack cutter is advancing proportionately and at the same time it is going up and down. The thing to be noticed here is uh, it is never stepping on the green area but it is restricting itself to the red part so only the red part is getting chopped off and uh, what is left is the gear we want. Now let us see if we can speed up this process a bit. Right now what we are doing we just have a single cutter which we need to advance every time step by step before taking the cut. So instead of using a single cutter, suppose we use multiple cutters and give them successive positions of this rack cutter itself. What I am imagining is a kind of array of racks and then this array will be advanced, each one a step ahead of its neighbor and then these will be brought in to engage with this blank and take successive cuts. So this will be a much faster process. Uh, it still has a little drawback though that uh, this whole battery of cutters will need to be brought in and after they cut we need to take them back. So that reverse stroke is going to be a waste of cycle time. So instead we can take a cylinder like this and we can start wrapping these successive positions of our original cutter now in the physical form of multiple racks around like this and then the process will become continuous. So the cylinder will rotate and thereby bring one rack after the other in engagement with this gear blank which will be rotating step by step and the cut will be taken. This is called as the gear hop and it is a continuous process, it's fast it's accurate and it's cheap. So in short, it cannot get uh, much better than this. So happy hobbing folks and uh, may your involutes be perfect.